The last time Mwamba lifted the Enterprise Cup trophy was in 2006. Brothers Collins Injera and Humphrey Kayange played a crucial role in that final to lift Kenya's oldest Rugby 15s trophy. On Saturday, Kulabu, as they are fondly known in the rugby circles, face a formidable opponent. Nakuru, the Kenya Cup champions, will be eyeing their second silverware of the season. Fijian coach Meli Wanibuli knows sparks will fly on Saturday. The Nakuru is a, it's a huge challenge for us, but at the same time we are very grateful. We are taking the opportunity and uh, the young boys and the senior members of the team have really worked hard to arrive to this uh, uh, period of the season. Collins Injera, who has witnessed an impressive turn of form in the longer version of the game, is expected to play a pivotal role despite playing in the unfamiliar flanker position as opposed to his regular role in the wings. Yeah, we've uh, given him the opportunity to express himself, to bring out uh, the talent that he has, and uh, we exploited uh, a few key areas which we thought the defensive was lap lapsing. Around. Injera scored six tries against Impala in the knockout rounds of the championships. Uh, I think our primary goal for us is to win the game. And uh, if I get tries, that will be a bonus. I'll be happy for that, uh, increasing my tally in the Enterprise Cup. So, but all you are looking to do is win the game. Injera will also have the support of his younger brother, Micah Gevi, who has matured in the game. It, it, it's, uh, it's a good thing. Uh, if he makes the starting squad, it will be a very, very good thing for us. Uh, uh, back in the day, he played with Humphrey, and it was a great feeling. We won it. <laughs> it will also be a sibling affair in the midfield, with Lavina Sego pairing up with his brother, Chris Asego. Mwamba FC finished fourth in the Kenya Cup, and definitely on Saturday, lifting the Enterprise Cup will be their defining moment. Bernard Ndong for Citizen Sports, Nairobi.